Wow, thanks guys. That was truly amazing. This feature will greatly simplify the lighting process and open up many possibilities. Now, with the awesome environments you can build with Nanite, Lumen, and our Quixel Mega Scans, you need characters to blend well into the scene to be believable and to move with smooth transitions. Back at GDC, we showed you our new motion matching technology that helps you achieve smoother trans animation transition and locomotion that adapts to the environment. Creating animation requires a lot of effort, and being able to do it in context in your environments makes that much easier. That is why we're continuing to invest in developing a world-class animation ordering system and removing the need to round trip to DCC or any external tools. Some of the improvements we've made in 5.5 include deformers that are now much easier to use and can be added to sequencer with just one click. Time warp curves and animation layers have been added, enabling non-destructive editing on top of existing animation or mocap. Choosers help you make selections in animation blueprint systems. And finally, the skeletal editor is now production ready. Character creation and customization is another area where we invested in order to simplify content creation workflows. The mutable plugin makes it easier to support a wide range of variations on characters or skeletal meshes. For example, it hides hair when equipping a helmet. It can also procedurally tuck pants into boots and hide parts of layered clothing to prevent Z fighting. It reduces the number of draw calls by optimizing and merging mesh sections and textures. And all of this can be achieved simply by using a graph, reducing the need for your team to create character variations individually. This plugin will ship as beta in 5.5, and we've included a content sample to help you get started. You can also leverage machine learning to keep your characters more realistic. Our simulation system can be used to provide high-fidelity ML training data for clot and muscle deformation. And while we're talking about simulation and physics, in 5.5, we've added support for customizable vehicles that provide a building block style assembly, giving you the flexibility to configure and customize your vehicles with ease. <laughs> As for chaos physics, we're committed to making it accurate and simple to use simulation system. In 5.5, we've made significant optimizations and expanded the chaos visual debugger to help with performance analysis and debugging. Now, let's talk about audio. A few years ago, we introduced Metasounds, our procedural audio engine, to give, to give more control and better controls to audio designers. With 5.5, we improved productivity and performance with Metasound pages, which can be used to swap graphs to target low-spec platforms, the relative render cost metric, which helps limit CPU usage, and many updates to Audio Insights, our analyzer and profiler tool. For all you audio files in the room, be sure to stop by our audio booth in the expo to dig deeper into these updates. 